What's up, Tubers? It's Games here, and welcome to a Netflix recommendation. I believe, I would reckon this will be one of the most important ones I am recommending to you guys because it's it's being unfairly uh, um, hated on for probably the worst reasons, and it's just. It's one of those times where you just need to shut the fuck up and t and laugh because that's what comedy is. Remember the back in the day with the mantra of sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me unless you throw a dictionary at someone. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but um, but yes, this recommendation is for Dave Chappelle's stand up sticks and stones, and. Everyone's like, oh my god, it's so offensive, and it's like, he's so not, like, taking it seriously. But he is, and he, and this is the reason why I am recommending it for everyone. Because, like, mostly from the title, Sticks and Stones, because he knows that words should never hurt. It's the, it, and... And yes, so, and it, he can't, <laughs> he's all about cancel culture, the LGBTQ community, um, Michael Jackson's victims, and victim blaming, and, and uh, everything else. And it's, it's what it needs to be. It's fucking funny! Like, we, like, like, he does explain that the, like, no one can laugh, like, full on seriously anymore because everyone will get offended and it's like, um, ba and people will find shit about your past and all that stuff. And he, but he makes fun of that. Like, the audience is one of the most, um, annoying things. And, like, everyone's like, oh, remember when he did that? Remember when he did that? And, like, um, he talks about how Kevin Hart, um, wanted to do the Oscars, but he had four, tw four tweets that were, uh, inappropriate, and it's like, um, that's what comedians do, that's what rappers do, that's what, um, uh, like, stand comedians do, that's what anybody who wants to make a shock value out of does. Um, <clears throat> also, uh, Kevin Hart, that car accident, fucking hell, Jesus Christ, but yes, um, I personally love this stand-up. It's hilarious, and he knows it, and he's and he's just trying to get everything, um, to the point of, hey, this is what it is, and it is what it is. It's like, um, you, like, he was, is explain like, is explaining that the LGBT community is funny, with the, the the more of the trans because um he doesn't technically understand it and it's the, technically the material that <clears throat> uh gives it more uh range which I understand that and I'm not, and fuck it I'm just gonna be honest with you as well it's like when I first heard about that it's just like how can you be born in the wrong body you're a dude. You look like a dude. You act like a dude. Why not be a dude? Um, but um, I have grown over time, and I've no, and I've tried to understand. I get it, but it's it's still like you need to laugh at yourself. You can't just be like, oh, because everyone in these audience fucking laughed. And it's like, and you, if you know Dave Chappelle, you know his content is going to be like, oh, shit. Um, just like um, Jim Jeffries, just like Bill Burr, Je uh, Joe Rogan, fucking, um, <clears throat> who else is there? Uh, Burt Kreischer, shout out to all of them. It's like, shut the fuck up. It's a comedy show. You're supposed to fucking laugh. Um, and it's, and it's just like that, and that's all I have to say really more than anything, but go on, it's going to be a tangent, but like the show said, like his title says, Sticks and Stones, and it's like, and like I said before, Sticks and Stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me, or as Rihanna says, a change of whips excite her, uh, I was like, oh my, but um, <laughs> yes, and I want more out of Chappelle. I want him to do another stand-up. I want him to have another show. 
probably an animated show. You get more away with animated stuff. Um, I got the last lot of the Chappelle show when it was on TV because uh, it was on SBS and I never knew when the fuck it was. Uh, SBS for uh, my viewers is kind of like the Australian channel with the indie stuff, I think, more so. ABC was more mainstream and SBS was like the, oh, here are the every now and again shows that we're... Eh, we'll give it to you. But now but now it's like Brooklyn Nine Nine and like some of the mainstream stuff. I was like, hold on, what the fuck? But yeah. Um <clears throat> But yes, if you want stand up, if you want a good laugh, and if you want him to uh explain about Ju- juicy Molier, Swalier or whatever, hold on. I'm gonna try and spell his name for everyone, cause the he ju- uh from Empire. Where is he? Juicy Smolier. Do you say Smolier? Okay, his name is Justin Smolier. I don't know, but yeah. Uh, he is in Empire, well, was in Empire, and he played um, uh, the gay son of, uh, of uh, Lucius Lyon and Cookie Lyon and, and explained how... He goes on about how when Juicy was explaining how he got attacked in America one not random night, everyone was like, oh, no. And he's saying, oh, the gay community was up in arms. And they were saying, oh, you're racist, you're homophobic to the black community. It's like, and the black community is like, no, we understand that, that dude is lying. <laughs> it's like, and then when it came out, he was lying. He was like, Oh, dear fucking Jesus. But I kind of understood where Ju- Ju- Juicy came from. It's like he wanted to make a name for himself. He did make a name for himself, but he got caught out in the lie. It's like he thought that going after the, 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 mag, the mag, Make America Great Again people, the, the Trump people, were, and making it a racial uh, homophobic attack would work and make his character bit more important in Empire. But he got caught out and he got fired. And and um and Dave Chappelle makes a point of that. It's like it's like you you can't take everything on face value and um and everything like that. But yes, I support Dave Chappelle. I found it funny. I've watched it twice. I'll watch it again. Um I fucking laugh at everything he says. I love Dave Chappelle. He's funny, he's great, his movies kind are kinda shit. What 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 has he been in? Sorry, I'll, I'll reiterate that. Um, uh, when he was in Crank Yankers, that was hilarious. He's in A Star Is Born. Okay. Um, he, he. Okay. Cool. 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 Undercover Brother. Um, he was in Con Air. Not for very long. It's Pinball. That was that was real funny. Half Baked. That's not overly great, but that's a good stoner film. And but yeah, he. He's a comedian to make you laugh. And it's one of those times where everyone is getting so insulted by everything. So, like, you have to watch what you say. Watch what you tweet. Watch what you do. Like, I read a story, apparently. Like, his dad is getting in trouble for hu- for uh, hugging his teenage daughter. It's like, it's his daughter. Yet, like, unless it's, like, very inappropriate. I don't see the problem with that. It's just like... Just take a fucking chill pill. Fucking laugh. Fucking enjoy. It's, it's, you, you can't go walking on eggshells anymore. Oh, still. And it's just like, uh. But yes, Dave Chappelle, Sticks and Stones, I recommend it to you guys. You need to laugh. It's funny. Um, I'll be doing the same thing if Bill Burr gets the fucking hate treatment for his new comedy special. Um, that's coming out soon. Um, <clears throat> so like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. And what do you guys think? Do you reckon Dave Chappelle needs to go a bit further more just to be like, ho, oh, or he's just right on point? Because that's what Dave Chappelle does. I want more. I hope you guys want more. Thanks for watching. And again, if you, if you don't like it, don't fucking watch it. You don't need to fucking tweet about it like, oh, I'm insulted. It's like, you if you know his style, you should know what he's like, what he's about. So yes, 
Thank you. That's my rant. That's my recommendation. And I hope you guys watch and enjoy. Thank you very much.